today we are learning more about Officer Alan Jacobs. Greenville's police chief says he was shot and killed last Friday by 17-year-old Deontay Mackey. Jacobs leaves behind a wife who is pregnant and two kids, but he also leaves behind a best friend who's still trying to get his arms around exactly what happened. Alan Jacobs was fit. Here he is celebrating after winning a pull-up competition in Haiti. I chose that picture just to show how Alan, he's, he's much more than just a policeman. He had a heart for veterans. Here he is escorting a World War II veteran on an honor flight. So many people do 40 hours and quit. Alan did like 90 hours and asked for more, <laughs> you know. Officer Jacobs was Lee Vining's best friend. Friday, when he heard there was a shooting, at 1236, Vining texted Jacobs, you good man? There was no response. I figured Alan's in the middle of it because it's his shift and that's Alan. <laughs> you know, he's fast, he's nimble, so he, he would be the guy that would be out in front chasing a person if need be. And um, so about 30 minutes went by and then a friend who's close to, to Greenville PD, she called me. And as soon as I saw her name come up on my caller ID, I knew it was Alan. Both spent 15 months in the Army serving in Iraq, actually protecting each other. They were in the middle of gunfights in the heart of Baghdad, awarded for their bravery. But yet it was a bullet from a 17-year-old self-proclaimed gang member, according to the police chief, that took Officer Jacob's life. And I definitely wrestled that a lot. I mean, the fact that we survived actual, like, legitimate combat to come back and to die in your hometown. He says the reality of it all still hasn't hit him yet. And then he, he's laid to rest right now, not far from my house. And so some of the Texas officers on duty that's watching over him right now. But uh, it's really hard. What do you say? I just hope there's um, some good can come out of this. You know, I hope the community can, can come together. And now, after the pain of everything that happened last Friday, I had to ask the hardest question. How will you now say goodbye? Personally, I probably never will. He's, he's my best friend. Again, he wanted to make it clear that he hopes some good comes out of this horrible loss.